Well, hello everybody. So today we're going to be talking about some mean people. <laughs> uh, and I know you all have experienced some of this, so we're just going to put it out there and talk about it. Hi everybody, my name is Dee Burks and this is Retirement Rescue and uh, where we talk about creating a life that you love as you're heading into or you are already in retirement. And one of the things that people talk about a lot, I mean a lot, it's like in every conversation here lately, is how many mean people there are. They're at the grocery store, they're at the airport, it's your Uber driver, it's your delivery person, it's this person, it's that person, it's your neighbor, it's your family, oh my God. <laughs> it's like we are being presented with this avalanche of mean people. And of course, the normal reaction is to say, oh, gosh, every, the world's just going to hell in a handbasket, y'all. It's just awful. <laughs> and really, well, number one, that's not true, but it helps to really get some perspective. Um, over the past few years, as we've come out of uh, being locked down, where we couldn't go anywhere, and most of our lives translated to online, a lot of people uh, spend a lot more time online, um, it became the norm just to say what you think no matter what. People lost that sense of, hey, if I make people angry, I'm going to get punched in the nose because that doesn't happen online. <laughs> But somehow as we've come out of the pandemic, that frustration and unsatisfying life experience we've all had has translated into some very, very angry people. Uh, they get angry at the drop of a hat. Uh, they seem to just make a huge mountain out of little bitty molehills. And a lot of us sit back and say, why? You know, why are people doing this? But I really believe we're not really seeing more angry people. We are absolutely noticing it more. And one of the reasons we notice it more is because of the intensity of that. So when we see an angry person, they're not just a little bit miffed. They're like full blown toddler, throw a fit, throwing things. Then these are adults I'm talking about y'all. And it's ridiculous behavior. Well, I personally think, you know, there have always been mean people always. Online gives them a format just to be incredibly mean. But then they take that out into the world. And it's not that those people weren't there before. We just really didn't notice them. It didn't seem to be uh, so prevalent. And what is prevalent is the amount of intensity. I mean, when you go into a restaurant, you might some see someone who's a little bit irritated that they didn't get the right side or their order was messed up or whatever. But it was generally no big deal, right? Well, now it's a screaming, yelling match, and it's just horrible. They act horribly. And truthfully, you can't do anything the way about the way other people behave. That is true. And when we run into these angry people, it is just, it's enough to ruin your whole day because of the intensity of their anger. So one of the things I wanted to talk to everyone about was, what do you do about that? Well, number one, uh, to me, I always think of the, of the old saying, never attribute to malice what can be explained by stupidity. Uh, some people are just angry. They'll always be angry. They were always angry. Uh, they're bitter. They're mean. And so that has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with you. They don't have malice toward you specifically. It's just the world in general. So the best thing to do is step back and not engage with those people, which can be hard sometimes, especially if you work in customer service. <laughs> but that is the best thing to do is not to engage. We don't have to have an opinion about everything. It has almost become the norm, especially as people age, for them to just spout their opinions. Well, these days, a lot of those opinions are really polarizing and it will get you attacked. I mean, verbally attacked, definitely. And it's just really not necessary. Your opinions are great, but as they say, it's just like a butthole. Everyone's got one, y'all. So, you know, your opinion is no better or worse than anyone, anyone else's. And honestly, as I age, my goal is to live in peace. Is to live in peace. Is to have a peaceful 
existence. And don't get me wrong, I've had my moments too where I just absolutely lost my mind over something. <laughs> it happens. We're all human. But when that happens to me, the best thing I usually do is to step back and say, okay, what was the real problem there? It was usually frustration over something completely unrelated. Uh, my time schedule was overloaded. Uh, I had things I had to do. I had an issue come up right before that I hadn't dealt with and it was really irritating me and then I took it out on someone else. I mean, it happens. So when I see someone else get angry or kind of lose their mind over something small, I remember, okay, I can do that too. That's happened to me too. I get it. Everybody has a bad day. You don't have to engage that. You can just let them have their moment and move on. This is, a, this is especially true with family, y'all. Everybody has their moments. And you just have to just let it go by and move on. Step out of the way. It's kind of like stepping out of the way of a, of a freight train. Just step out of the way, let the train go by, and then you'll be good. <laughs> and I've got to where I do that more and more. And this week someone said something to me because uh, I was talking about um, some conversations me and my friends were having. And they said something about that they had noticed as people age, they get really quiet. And they thought it was because those people were disengaging with life. And I'm like, oh, I guarantee you that's not what it is. We get quiet because we know that by jumping in there and engaging, it doesn't add to our life. It doesn't add to our, in fact, it takes away from our peace. So why bother? There are a lot of conversations old people will not get into. And I get that. It, it's not worth their time. It's just not. So many younger people obsess and stress and get so irritated over things that are just no big deal. Just no big deal. And as we age, we learn, just let those things pass. Just sit and be quiet. And uh, as you go to a family gathering and you've got family that are chatting, that are getting kind of getting irritated with each other, what happens to grandma and grandpa? They're sitting over there just enjoying themselves, not engaging in these conversations, just enjoying being around people. Guess what? That's some wisdom every single person can take with them. As we age, uh, especially once we get over 50 and definitely over 60, uh, we realize, you know, we've been there, done that. We've, we've gone through those really irritating times and taken it hard. We have felt like, you know, oh, this the end of the world. If I don't do this right, I'll ruin my life. And, you know, after a few decades, you realize you can't ruin your life. That's not going to happen. And you just let that stuff go. The things that seemed so vital and important, the things you fought with your newlywed spouse over years ago, and now you think, how ridiculous is that? How ridiculous is that? And so now when I see that happen in public and I see people just losing their minds and, and you know, really getting on to their kids and just I just think, you know, just let it go. Man, just let it go. It so adds to your peace not to engage with that. And I am a big fan of it. I don't uh, put a lot of opinions out there online for that reason. Nobody cares. I don't even care half the time about my own opinions. <laughs> And so I just don't see the, see the point in it. I don't see the point in it. And so I really am all about constructing a peaceful life for myself. And no matter what happens in the world or what's going on right now, it's happened before, it'll happen again. And guess what? We'll all get through it just fine. We will, one way or another. And one of the best things you can do is not stress about it. And just let things happen and make a plan for yourself to keep your peace. So I'm sure this summer, as you all go about your business, you will be encountering some incredibly crazy, angry people. Um, and you know, one of the things that you can do, one of the things that I did, even out in Vegas, was really be nice to those uh, customer service people, those people who are so stressed and so overworked, and who are taking all of this really hard. <laughs> And just uh, do your little part to make the world a better place, either by not engaging or by encouraging people who are having a really, really tough time. We will always, always have mean people. That's just a fact of life. It would be nice if everybody would not be that way, but there will always be mean people. So creating your own boundaries, uh, enjoying your own peace. For me, hey, that's where it's at. 
and I hope that's where it's at for you too. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, please click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.